check make sure that's clear, 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 no bullets in there, cool. Hey guys, this is Robin Keeman with Endeavor Defense and Fitness. I'm one of the co-owners. I also run our firearms program. Um, we're gonna give you a quick pro tip today about safeties, okay? Uh, the fact of the matter is we uh, prefer, recommend, uh, strongly suggest striker fired firearms in um, your most common brands, your, your Glock. And with those, uh, Glock Smith & Wesson XD, I should say. And with those, uh, no safety. And the reason is it's just less things that need to go on in a chaotic situation. Less decisions, less manipulations, less fine motor skill. But if you do have a safety, that's okay. You just need to make sure that you're being consistent with it. So what we're looking for on this Beretta here is we got the safety down here, right? So every time I'm not shooting, the safety needs to be on. And when I go to shoot, so as I'm driving out, it needs to be swept up. So if we look right here, when I sweep this up, boom, there's a little red light. Red is dead. There's off. So when I'm here, okay, and I drive out, I need to sweep that off. I do whatever my shooting is, boom, boom. And as I come back, I need to sweep that safety back on. The reason for this is we need to be consistent. If I'm always leaving the safety off, right, and then I go and I have the safety off and I do a manipulation, whether it's a mag or a malfunction, and I go back and forward and this comes down, it's also a decocker, don't worry about that. I go to drive out and shoot, click, click, click. It's gonna take me a few moments, which are probably crucial if I'm using this gun in self-defense to figure out that, oh shit, the safety needs to be switched back off so that I can do what I need to do. So if we're training and we always make sure we're being consistent, it's off when it's here and it's on when it's there, so I can get it on and off. We know that that gun's gonna work whenever we deploy it. The same thing goes with just a decocker. Um, the rule's a little bit different. Uh, the penalty might not be perceived as bad. I still think it's as bad because it's gonna control deviation, but long story short, double action, single action, this gun starts out double action me and when as I pull the trigger, it pulls the hammer back and when I finish pulling the trigger, it sends it forward and fires. But after the first round, the slide goes, this is already back. So it only needs that second half of the pull. You notice the trigger was sitting here, now it's sitting here, okay? So every time that gun comes in, I need to pull this decocker down so I get that same long, steady, consistent pull on my first shot every time I choose to drive out and fire. We wanna make sure that we're being consistent with our fundamentals because that's gonna help us be more efficient when we recognize the threat and respond to it. Now, just a quick tip from us, uh, as we are gearing up for our courses, we thought we'd throw that out there. This is something people are definitely gonna see and face challenges if they bring guns with safeties to our classes. Uh, our classes start on May 20th, and that's our fundamentals of concealed carry. And then uh, moving forward, July 1st and 2nd, we're gonna have a fight to the holster course, which kind of gives you a really good explanation of how that works in space, how far away targets are, and What's the most appropriate way to respond? Uh, thanks for checking out this video. I don't know where it's gonna live, Facebook or YouTube or whatever, but there'll be links on how to get to our other classes. Uh, sign up for the ones that we're talking about now. And obviously uh, we'll get some, some uh, links in there with more course descriptions. So uh, if you got any questions, hit us up in the links.